here's some progress on the sofa. As you can see, I have a lot more coverage painted. Uh, I'm probably going to go in on the blue and do a little bit more because I see some red soaking through, but that's not a problem. Uh, I've painted all the way down to the little flap of fabric on the bottom. I'm sure there's some sort of uh, decorating term for what that piece is. I do not know, but there's a reason. I don't want that part painted. Also, it was difficult to get down there to paint it without moving the couch, which I cannot do right now. And so I'm, I'm going another way. I'll show you what I'm doing with that in a minute. I'm not going to cover it with paint. I'm going to cover it another way. The next thing is I decided I don't want to paint the sides as well. I'm going to go a different way. I am going to use fabric and nail head trim. Uh, you can get it in a strip. I just got the actual upholstery nails uh, to nail the fabric onto the side of the sofa. And I've picked a pattern, particularly because it's something I already have. I went looking for fabric and didn't like what I saw. So it occurred to me that I have a fabric that will work with it great. The first thing I'm going to have to do though, and I already did, but I'll show you, is measure the side of the sofa from here to the end and from the top down to the bottom. I don't have to cover the flap if I don't want to because I can use another uh, piece for that. But I've decided I'm going to go ahead and use one piece all the way down and let it hang loose. Now the front side, I'm going to do another piece. I will show you as we go along how that goes. So I'm going to take the dimensions and get right back to you. Okay, I have measured with a tape measure now. The dimensions are 30 across from here to here and 16 down if I stop short of the fabric piece on the bottom, which I'm going to do. Now, here's the fabric I'm going to use. A little unconventional, it is not actually fabric, it is a throw. Ta-da! I'm going to use my chevron throw, which is fleece, not something you would normally use for upholstery on uh, any piece of furniture, but be because we don't actually sit on that portion or does it have any wear and tear, I think it'll work out great. Uh, it's going to kind of warm everything up, give it a different texture, and break the continuity of the paint uh, that we have on the sofa. That's what I'm going to do on each side using the nails, upholstery uh, nails as I go. And I'll show you what that looks like as I get that part done.